Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Beardy Thinker. Today we are going to configure Worldwide Lightning Location Network. So stick around and in 10 seconds we will start. Before we proceed with installation of this component, I just want to clarify something. Video for this component was recorded a long time ago, probably a month or two months ago, and I left it for a future date. And in the meantime, developers of the Home Assistant have implemented integration inside Home Assistant. So the simplest way to do and simplest way to configure WWLLN is to go to Configuration, Integrations, click the plus sign, scroll down, select Worldwide Lightning Location Network, modify whatever you want to modify, either your location along with the latitude or the radius and just click Submit. This is definitely the easiest way, but at the time of the recording, unfortunately, you were not able to do that. And now let's go back to the installation video. As the title says, today we are going to configure Worldwide Lightning Location Network. What this component does, it will provide you with data, of course, if it is available, uh, for your location about uh, lightning storms. Let's get started. Let's go to Configurator. This is our configuration YAML file. And at the end, we will add following information. First, we will define the component we want Home Assistant to configure. So this will be Worldwide Lightning Location Network. Next thing what we have to do define is what radius from our location or from the monitor location we want to observe. So it's radius. And here we will give it 100 for 100 kilometers. Next thing we want to define is uh, latitude and longitude for our location or observed location. Latitude, we will be using our uh, location latitude. I will just copy from here. And longitude, same. This is the location I'm using in this test system. And this should be it. Let's save our configuration file. And let's check configuration, server control, check configuration. And let's uh, restart our server. And our server is back online. Let's go to developer tools, logs. No errors so far. Let's go to map. And this is my imaginary living location. And we still do not have any kind of weather warning for Zagreb, Croatia. That's okay because it's sunny outside. So I don't expect any data to be visible right now. This should be more or less it for this location. Uh, for the test purposes, let me try and find some location that has currently storms. In order for us to find something, uh, I will let's go to configurator and let's replace latitude and longitude with the ones for Jakarta. I think there are some thunderstorms there. As I said, this is for testing purposes only. Just to see how this component works. Let's save, configuration, server control, check configuration. And let's restart. Do you want to restart? Okay. Let's go to map. And as you can see, we have here information about lightnings.
if you did use test data as I did to see if the component works, don't forget to put your location here. And now the fun part. In order for us to create automation, first thing what we want to do is, since we already now have data from our worldwide lightning location network, we want to create some kind of zone that we want to monitor. This normally would be, for example, your home zone, or if you have summer house or cottage somewhere in the woods, you want maybe to give that area protection or information about that area. In order for me to create it right now, since it's winter and we don't have any kind of lightning storms, I have expanding my WWLLN range and I moved it to New Orleans. And as you can see, I have a lot of lightning storms around my area. I will pick uh, one coordinate, 31.7 minus 91.9. And let's imagine that this is the area I want to monitor and I want to get notified if there is any kind of lightning around it. What would I do? I would go to Configuration, Integrations, click the plus sign, go to zone and name this zone, for example, lightning zone. Now I will enter coordinates. And here I will give you a radius, but this radius has to be in. So let's type one meter. So this is a kilometer, 10, 10,000. Okay, so this will be 1,000 kilometers. And for the icon, I will be using, of course, material design icons. So MDI, weather, light, link. And we can click this to be passive zone. Uh, what does this do? It creates, let's call it like that, hidden zone that can be used in automations, but we will not get any kind of notifications if devices enter this zone or exit this zone. If you want to do your own home setup, you would probably do uh, your own home coordinates or as I said, your cottage coordinates here. You would put radius, for example, 20 kilometers, so 20,000, is it 20,000? Yeah, 20,000 uh, here as a number. And let's just create, uh, let's just press here, submit. Now we have created zone, lightning zone. Next thing what we can do and what we have to do in order to create automation, we have to go to configuration, automations, and we can now create here geolocation automation. So we skip. Let's call this thunder struck. For trigger type, we will select geolocation. For source, we will uh, type here WWLLN. And zone will be lightning zone. So this is the new zone we created earlier. And event will be, of course, enter. And now let's create uh, action. This will be notification action. So notify, bearded bot. And let's type the message under struck and let's save this let's go back back server control check configuration and let's reload our automations and if everything is okay and if there is any kind of uh, lightning nearby we will now receive notification here. And it took a bit for the system to load all those notifications, but as you can see, yeah, we received a bunch of them. Okay. Let me stop this before I crash my system. 
So far about 100 notifications. And they just keep on coming. <laughs> okay. This is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Barely Tinker. I hope you find this component useful. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on future updates. If you have any kind of idea or suggestion for my future videos, please leave it down in the comment section. And until the next time, bye bye and have fun. And I need to stop my home assistant because notifications just keep on coming. Bye bye.